Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're gonna to be doing a 10 minute install. This one comes from Asteria Wig and they sent over a curly headband wig in the length 26 inches and you know they included some free goodies. So you have this silk scarf, two headbands and also a wig cap and then of course you have your wig. So this right here is the wig itself. As I mentioned, this is a headband wig, so we're gonna be installing her in 10 minutes or less. Glueless, no heat, no nothing. It's just gonna be a super simple install, and you're gonna see how you can be ready in less than 10 minutes and slay for the gods. So this is the inside construction of the cap. On the inside and in the back, you have these two wig clips, which are a little bit different than the typical like wig clips that you would get where they just slide through. These actually snap into place. So if you really want a good hold, you can use these. If you don't like these wig clips, you can just slide the wig on and it'll work just fine. I'm gonna use one of the wig caps they provided. It's a nice brown color like my complexion. I'm gonna slide it back and then we're gonna go ahead and try the wig on for size. So as I mentioned, this one is a little bit different than the ones you typically see me use. So as I said before, you kind of unsnap the actual clip. You can slide it into your hair and then you can clip it back and it'll be nice and secure. Now, if you are feeling a little bit reluctant to clip it into your head, you just keep those wig clips closed and then you'll be able to just slide the wig on. Add the elastic band around as tight as you can and you'll still be good to go. We're gonna be installing this wig in three easy steps. We're gonna slide the wig back and form our baby hair. We're gonna add a little bit of product to go ahead and style the length of the hair and let go of these nice luscious curls. And then we're gonna add a little hair accessory to cover up that band and we're gonna be ready to go and out the door. If you watch my videos and you know one of my biggest struggles has been the baby hair and making it blend with the wigs and I think I finally mastered it. So I'm going to take this here. It's like an edge control and of course I have it linked in the description box. I already separated the amount of hair that I want to use as baby hair and I'm just going to go in and do three swoops on each side. Again, if you watch my videos and if you've seen my latest headband videos, you guys know I've been struggling with the hairline and the, you know, baby hair with my natural hair. And literally, this gave me life. I am really, really, really proud of myself and how well I did the baby hair this time around. You can go ahead and add a black edge control or you can add the black hair fibers or even brown if you want to make it a little bit darker. But again, if you've watched my growth, this definitely is progress and I'm super proud of it. Also, don't forget to check out the description box. You'll find a link to this wig, details on this wig, as well as a coupon code to get some money off at checkout. You'll also find a list of everything I use to complete this look. And this here is the final result of the baby hair. As I said before, I am super proud of it. The key to it was separating out what hair I wanted to use for the baby hair first before swooping instead of like trying to swoop the hair that was like already connected to my braids. And I think it made a huge difference. Here's a quick shot of what the back looks like. This one is super nice. It's a heavy density, 26 inch curly wig. I'm gonna go ahead and set off the curls with a little bit of mousse. You guys know I love my Nairobi. I'm not not even gonna wet the hair down I'm just gonna go straight in with that mousse and you're gonna see just how gorgeous the curls will come out and you guys can see here for yourselves there was no excess tangling or shedding or anything like that this one was definitely easy to manage since then I've been wearing this one for about the last week I had surgery and I've just been bumming it around the house and this has been my go-to headband wig to keep me looking nice and good without having to do anything at all and again no tangling no shedding even though it's nice and full and curly
Now, I love the fact that they gave me a few options for headbands. They gave me that nice hunter green one. This one here is a beautiful print. And then they also gave me a nice silk scarf. This here is going to get used so much coming up. I absolutely think the scarf is so beautiful and I'm so grateful to have it. But of course, I went with the green just because it complemented the sweater I already had on. And of course, it was easy to apply in all of that. Also pro tip, whenever you're using a headband wig, scrunch up the actual headband, like that black headband part, and it'll help to conceal it so that you don't see it underneath your actual headband that you're wearing for style. And that's pretty much it. As promised, we got this wig on and styled in 10 minutes or less. I'm also going to show you what it would look like up in a ponytail, which is my favorite way to wear these headband wigs. They look super nice and natural and neat. And the fact that I'm able to leave out my actual baby hair even makes it look super natural. Don't forget to check out Asteria Wig. I have a link to this wig in the description box as well as everything I use to complete this look. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help me out so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!